I'm Jennifer. It's time for announcements. Okay. Um, the first announcement is because a couple people whispered in my ear, you know, as we were greeting one another. Yes, Reverend Ed is not here in person, but he is here. Yes. He is fully present. I see him here. I don't know how else to put it. I did that in my morning meditation. You know, he sat where Brother Bob is now, right? Right? Yeah. Right. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. And his beautiful white hair and his tall posture and his blazer on. We see you, Reverend Ed. We know that you're here with us. You're always here with us. This is a farewell celebration, but it's not a farewell. I want to be clear that this is our spiritual community and it is Reverend Ed's spiritual community. Mm -hmm. He is always a part of this community. Amen. Forever and always, whether yep. he is here yep. in body yes. or not. Amen. He Amen. is with us, Amen. and we know that there are others that are part of this community yes. in the same, same way. way. Yep. We don't forget them. We know that they're here with us. Yep. And it's as real as if they're here in body. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. So let us know that Reverend Ed is with us. He yeah. feels yeah. us. <laughs> he knows that we are with him. Can we take a moment, just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. See your brother, Reverend Ed. Mm. Feel his presence. Feel deep gratitude for his wisdom, his teachings, his always dry and irreverent humor, his insistence that we go back to the Bible. He would always be slightly apologetic, but with a devilish gleam in his eye. <laughs> Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> and to me, it was like, oh, he could think of it like the times tables when I was in third grade. But he made it fun and accessible and understandable and relevant. It applies to each and every one of us. That was his great teaching gift. He is insistent on the theology of oneness. Insistent, diligent, relentless in the words he chose and the words that we chose. There is no separation between us and our creator. We are also creative beings working with and through God. Reverend Ed, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We are so grateful for the deep and powerful ministry that you have given us. We carry with us <coughs> your teachings, your wisdom, and your beautiful soul became so open to us to give of himself. And so now, we in our hearts send you love, send you deep and abiding gratitude. Know that this is your home and that you are always here with us and in our hearts. Amen. 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 Announcements. <laughs> Number one is, um, Shira has an announcement, but just before I forget, as I want to do, we have a book downstairs, and we have photographs that uh, Raleigh took that we're going to add, some that I pulled from the website. I encourage you to flip through the book. Mm. See if you can, if you find your picture, maybe sign next to that. If you do not find your picture, and I know that there are some beautiful faces in here that need to have their pictures taken, come to me, I will take the picture and I will add it to this book for him. And also, Raleigh has been doing video uh, testimonies of love. And so, if you haven't done that, please avail yourself of that too, and know that all of this is gonna go to Reverend Brad. Um, uh, Shira, you had an announcement? I, yeah, I have an announcement. Um, this Tuesday, 
at Habarat Shalom, which is 113 College Ave in Somerville, just outside of Davis Square. I'm doing a retelling of my story. Um, let's see. So it's uh, the Ratlin Rabbi presents Tripping with the Music, What a Trip It Has Been, and What Present Future Do We Stay? <coughs> And so everyone is invited. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to contact me. And I wanted to say yesterday I went to this event called Holi. It's a Hindu like spring color festival. It's just like heaven. It's like the way I feel when I come to the <coughs> service in the morning. It's just heaven. If anyone ever wants, you know, information, I you know, it's the unity that Reverend Carlos and Reverend Ed teach. It's just another beautiful way to experience the divine. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And we'll put that on the website. I, as yeah, well. I sent it. I, I did send it to admin like a, mm. about a week ago. So I can I need to send <coughs> right. it somewhere else. I will. I was in India when uh, they were celebrating Holi. <laughs> and I was traveling by myself. And I will tell you, part of what it is too is to break um, social norms. It's loud, it's raucous. It was a little much for me. I was up in my hotel room. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. Like, it was crazy out there. But it is, it's sort this of. This was a little gentler, I would I'm, say. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little. Because it's in <laughs> India, it's, it's yeah. crazy. But in a good way. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it kind of reminds me of like the fireworks at 4th of July. There's something about the sound mm. and almost the stimulation of it all. It, it's, um, it breaks with the norm. It's like why we make noise um, when New Year's comes. It's a breaking, mm. it's, it's a stepping from the old into something new, mm. and it's a way of marking it with color and with sound, mm. with the breaking of social norms. Mm. Yes. Kristen. So this coming weekend, Friday, April 12th to Sunday, the 14th, there's going to be a limited showing of the concert documentary Amazing Grace with Elisa Franklin. Oh, yeah. mm. And it's the first time it's being shown. At, at um, the Coolidge Corner Theater in mm. Brookline. And um, Joyful Voices of Inspiration, the gospel choir that Jane and I sing with, will be singing at 6.30 before the showing at 7. Would love to see some of you there. I did send information about it to Bob. So it will be on the next e-blast. And it's gotten great reviews. I'm so looking forward to doing this. And um, please come. So yeah. 7 o'clock this Friday um, is the movie, but before that is Joyful Voices of Inspiration. Mm. You said it's limited. So it's you limited, so you, you can get them. tickets ahead of time. Mm. If you might want to do that because yeah. most likely it's going to sell out. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So Thank, Thank you. you. What's that? Thank Just you. Friday. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm. Um, We'll be singing before on Friday, Saturday night, and then Sunday afternoon there'll be another gospel choir singing. But we're only singing Friday. We're only yeah. singing Friday, but yes. what I'm saying is there's a different gospel yeah. choir singing on Sunday afternoon. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Laurie? Thank you. Uh, sure. Vicki Poppy just asked me to announce and remind folks that, um, that on um, April 27th, uh, James Twyman is going to be in town, and he's going to be at Vicky's house, um, and he's going to be sharing his Broadway musical and just doing doing the usual thing at Vicky's house. So it's it's on that Saturday, the 27th, at, from two to six at Vicky Poppy's house, and that's at uh, 140 um, Adams Street in Quincy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did I see somebody else that had an announcement? Catherine? No, it was the same announcement. Oh, we got it through. And then the last announcement is that we will not have church, <clears throat> excuse me, on the fourth Sunday of this month. I believe it's the 28th uh, because they need the building. So we will not, we will be able to have Palm Sunday, we will be able to have Easter, and then we will have one week off the last uh, week of um, April. All right. Reverend Carlos. 